Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Jaime Valencia. I'm part of the PDI Technical Advisors in Cisco. And today I'm going to show you how to configure a basic auto attendant with CUCM and Unity Connection on 11.x release. I hope this is useful for you. Before I start with the configuration in CUCM, I just want to remind you that right now we are going to be using the zip trunk integration and that the voicemail pilot number is going to be configured to 4000. For the auto attendant, the first thing that we want to create is a CTR route point that is under device, CTR route point. We're going to click on add new and we're going to fill in the basic details. Then we're going to save it and we're going to add a directory number to it. We need to make sure that we assign the voicemail profile that we are going to be using for the phones and a valid call in search space. We are going to set it to call forward all to voicemail and we are going to save it. For this basic auto attendant that I am going to create in first place, this is going to be all the configuration that you need in CUCM. We are going to move over to Unity Connection to configure a call handler that is going to be receiving the call and playing the greeting. In Unity Connection, we are going to start by creating a call handler. We go to Call Management, System Call Handlers. As you can see, the ones that I have right now are the default ones and I am going to click on Add New. The extension is going to be the same that I use for my CTR route point in CUCM and I'm going to save it. Now a few things that you want to make sure that you have the right settings in here is the active schedule. Right now this is going to be active for all day long. You can change this depending on what you want. And also very very important is that a lot of people are going to try to record their greetings on their recorded name. And that is wrong. What happens when you do that is that you are going to hear something like sorry, the greeting that you recorded is not available. And what you are supposed to get in the recorded name is for example something like John Doe. So you could hear sorry, John Doe is not available. And that is a very common mistake that I have seen. Let me go back and from the edit menu, the menus that we are going to be using for this are going to be transfer rules, color input and greetings. Let's go to greetings in first place and record the greeting that I'm going to use. As you can see, we have a lot of options in here. The one that is going to be enabled and used by default is the standard greeting. You also have the closed greeting that is only going to play when you configure the schedule and you configure the closed hours. There is also an alternate greeting and that one, if you enable it, it will play above any other greeting that you have. Let's click on the standard greeting. A couple of options that you want to make sure that you have the right settings in here. If for example you want this auto attendant and you only want to give a message, you do not want them to try to reach anybody else, you can use the ignore color input option in here. By default, Unity Connection will only allow you to transfer to directory numbers that are configured in Unity Connection. What does this mean? Right now in this scenario, as the only directory numbers that are configured in Unity Connection are the ones from my users, the E164 number that they have in Unity, those could be the only numbers that you could be able to reach. If you want to reach any other number that is configured in CUCM but doesn't have a matching number in Unity Connection, you can use this option. Allow transfers to numbers not associated with users or core handlers. If we go to the bottom of this page, we will get the recordings option and we are going to get the greeting and the play record option. Let's click on it. We are going to get the media bar. We are going to get several options here. If you want to record a new greeting, you can use your computer or you can use a phone. I'm going to show you how to configure both options. Right now I'm going to try it with my computer. And also for the playback, you can use your phone or the computer. I'm going to use computer for both. If you go to options, you have open file. You want to use this option if you already have a file with the audio that you want to play. A lot of companies will invest in a professional recording for their greetings and you can use this option to upload it. The other option, playback and recording. You are going to get this new window. As you can see, a couple of the options that you have here are the same as that you have in the media bar, the playback device, the recording device, 
and you also have the active phone number. This is the directory number in which Unity Connection is going to dial if you choose to use your phone to hear the greeting or to record the greeting. I'm not going to change anything and I'm go just going to click on OK. Now I'm going to try to record my greeting. Hello, you have reached my lab. If you want to reach Bill Mosley, press number 1. If you want to use Conference Now, press number 2. And if you do nothing, you can leave me a message. And we can hear that recording right now. Hello, you have reached my lab. If you want to reach Bill Mosley, press number 1. If you want to use Conference Now, press number 2. And if you do nothing, you can leave me a message. And we're going to save it. Now I'm going to configure the color input options so that I can do what I mentioned in my greeting. I'm going to edit and I'm going to color input. I'm going to choose number one because that is going to be transferring to Bill Mosley. And I'm going to choose that the action is going to be for a user with a mailbox. It's going to be Otis, that is Bill Mosley user, and I'm going to attempt a transfer. For the option number two that I mentioned, I need to create a new call handler and that is going to be transferring the call over to CUCM. For this one, you really do not need an extension because you do not want people reaching out to this one directly. You need to go to edit and we're going to change the transfer rules for this one. We're going to change the standard transfer rule and we're going to choose transfer calls to an extension or URI. The pilot that I have for conference now in CSEM it's star 3000 and that is what I'm going to configure in here. Important, a lot of people do not like to hear the wait while I transfer your call and you can disable it here. Right now I'm going to leave it and I'm going to save this. We need to go back to our original call handler. We need to go back to the color input options and we're going to configure option number two. This time we're going to use a call handler. It's going to be the to conference now call handler and we're going to attempt transfer. Whenever you set this to attempt to transfer, it's going to use the transfer rules of the target option. So right now, if I attempt a transfer to the conference now call handler, it's going to try to transfer to a star 3000 in CUCM. I'm going to save this. The column search space that I have for the integration in CUCM already allows me to reach star 3000, but Unity Connection might not allow me to dial that. We need to go to the restriction tables and we need to adjust that. We're going to change the default transfer option. If you want to know how to configure these patterns, you can click on help for this page and you will get explanation of every single thing that is in here. You will get the explanation of the patterns, the wallcards, and it will also tell you that the last pattern in the table always matches all numbers and that one is enabled by default. This is very important to prevent toll fraud. With this in place, I'm going to register my IP communicator and I'm going to place a couple of test calls so that you can see how this works. Before the demo, something very important and that I forgot to enable is that once you have a personal greeting, you need to enable it. We're going back to the standard greeting and under colors here, we need to enable my personal greeting. If we do not enable this option, you are going to get sorry, the name of the greeting, in this case it could be AA1, is not available. You need to make sure that you choose my personal greeting and we're going to save it. With this, we can go ahead and do the demo. The layout for this is the same one that I have been using for the other videos. I'm going to be using Corey Taylor, which is locally registered in my PC, and I'm going to be dialing into the auto attendant. Hello, you have reached my lab. If you want to reach Bill Mosley, press number one. If you want Wait while I transfer your call. As you can see, we were able to establish a call between Bill Mosley and Corey Taylor using the auto attendant. I'm going to end this call. I'm going to dial again and I'm going to use option number two. Hello, you have reached my lab. If you want to reach Bill Mosley, press number one. If you want to use conference now, press number two. And Wait while I transfer your call. Welcome. To join a conference now, please enter a meeting number followed by pound. That is how you create a basic auto attendant. I'm going to configure more advanced options and I'm going to show you another few tricks in order to use auto attendants. Now I'm going to show you a more complex auto attendant that I created. 
the name for it, it's AA-2, the number that we're going to dial, it's 4200, the configuration on COCM, it's going to be the same as for the previous one. You can also see that I created two more call handlers, one is to customer service and the other one is to sales. They are going to be doing the same as the to conference now call handler. I'm going to show you the configuration and also some of the advanced features that I'm using for this one. In first place, you can notice that the active schedule is not the standard one. I created a new one. We can click on view to see what I created. You will notice that the office hours for this are going to be Monday to Friday from 9 to 5 and open 24 hours on weekends. What difference is this going to make with the configuration? When you call in one of the hours in which this is going to be working, you are going to get the standard greeting. When you call on these hours, you are going to get the close greeting. Let's go back to the call handler and I will show you that. If we go to the greetings, you will notice that right now I have both the standard and the close greetings enabled. And I also have my recording on each one. We are going to hear this recording once I do the demo. I'm going to show you the close greeting, and for that one I'm going to play you the greeting, since right now it's not going to work. I also changed the color input. Right now, as you can see, I have 1 to sales, 2 to customer service, 3 I'm sending that to a user and I'm using some particular settings on this user, I'm going to show you that in a minute, and I configure 0 for the operator. I also changed the settings for the operator core handler, I'm going to show you that. Let's go back to the call handlers and I'm going to show you the operator. This one, if we go to the transfer rules, I changed the configuration. By default, you were going to go to the greeting. I changed it to dial to an extension or URI. On this case, this is Otis, the return number. We're going to see that in the demo. Let me show you for math heavy what I configured. The most common transfer is set it to release to switch. On this scenario, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be using a supervised transfer. We're not going to play the wait while I transfer your call prompt. I'm also going to ask who is calling. I'm enabling ask me if I want to take the call. The user will be prompted if he wants to take the call or not. If the caller is busy, you can change it to not only send the caller to voicemail, but to pull the caller on hold with the desking or as color to hold. I'm going to show you how this works in the demo. One important thing that I need to mention is that right now these two call handlers to customer service and to sales, I do not have them configured to transfer to anything back to my CUCM. You can use this option if for example you have a line group in which you have your customer service representatives and another one for your sales. You can also send these calls over if you have contact center, you can also direct them over there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how this works. As I previously mentioned, I'm going to be using 4200 for this test. Hello and thanks for calling my lab. If you want to reach sales, press number 1. If you want to reach customer service, press number 2. If you want to reach Matthew, press number 3. Or you can press 0 at any time to reach the operator. Wait while I transfer your call. As you can see, I was able to transfer to the operator, which in this case was Otis. Let me end this call and we're going to go ahead and we're going to dial to Matthew. We're going to dial one more time for 200. Hello and thanks for calling my lab. If you want to reach sales, press number 1. If you want to reach customer service, press number 2. If you want to reach Matthew, press number 3. Or you can... Who may I say is calling? Jaime Valencia. I'm going to end the call because I cannot hear the sound. Sorry, Matt Hefe is not available. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press. On the previous scenario, if we could hear the Unity Connection call Matthew Hefe, we could have heard something like Jaime Valencia is calling you. Press 1 if you want to take the call, or press 2 if you don't want to take the call, and then it could have sent me over to voicemail. As I mentioned, I also configured the close greeting. I'm going to play you what I have for that, and I'm going to show you that in the configuration. Hi, you have reached my lab during non-working hours. If you want to leave a message, please stay on the line. That was the greeting that I recorded. Let me show you that configuration in the call handler. 
on this scenario, the call action after the greeting is going to be to take a message. You can also direct this to another call handler if you want to send, for example, these calls to a mobile phone. You can also send them to a user with a mailbox. There are several options that you can do with this kind of calls. This will depend on what you want to do. With this, we have finished the demo and I have already provided you all the basics on how to create a basic auto attendant and some advanced features. Anything that you want to do, you can do with this kind of configuration. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this was useful for you.